Hi everyone, Melissa here. We are currently in Hollywood Beach, Florida. And today, what I'm gonna do is take a ride on the Fort Lauderdale water taxi. Is this the best way of getting around? I don't know, I've never done it, even though I've been to Florida many, 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 many times. So we're gonna test it out today and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I apologize if there's any noise. I had to move because of commercial music over there and construction on the other side. So uh, let's try this again. So the Fort Lauderdale water taxi is actually divided into three routes. You have the Hollywood Express route, which is where we're leaving from. Then you have the Fort Lauderdale route and the water trolley and your Fort Lauderdale water taxi ticket actually allows you to travel throughout those three routes. It's a total of 20 stops and it does go from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Now you can get day pass tickets for the water taxi, you can get evening tickets which are reduced and start at 5 p.m. or you can get multi-day passes. We got our reduced price tickets on Viator and I'll leave that link for you down in the video description so you can check it out as well should you want to try it out. So we're going to board the water taxi at the 5 o'clock somewhere location which is right across from the Margaritaville Resort in Hollywood Beach, Florida. Before we get on the water taxi, we're gonna have a little lunch here at 5 o'clock somewhere. The next water taxi leaves in 90 minutes. If you get here for lunchtime or between 5 and 7 p.m., they do have happy hour. Cheers! I had to put my hair up because it's just too hot. We're gonna start something new on the channel. It's gonna be called Ticket or Skip It. So do we tick it off our to-do list or do we just skip it? And we're gonna start today with the Fort Lauderdale water taxi. Okay, and here is our water taxi. enjoying this video so far please give it a big like and when you're done share it to your social so that your friends and family can learn from it as well okay so we got up at the Hilton Marina and Convention Center and now we're gonna switch over to the Fort Lauderdale water taxi and we'll see how much we can get done in a day Apologies for the noise. There's some construction work going on. There's a bunch of birds chirping. I'm just gonna stand here in front of this beautiful yacht. Okay, here's the down low on the Fort Lauderdale water taxi system. Is it a ticket or a skip it? 
Well, it depends. Definitely a ticket once you're on the water taxi. Really fun to travel up and down the intracoastal. There is some commentary on board. You can ask them questions. They sell drinks on board as well. So all that is very fun, informative, interesting, and relaxing. What I do recommend is if you want to spend a full day and being able to see all the routes and maybe multiple stops, I do recommend getting on board as early as possible. So taking the first one at 10 a.m. from either Hollywood Beach or Fort Lauderdale or latest 12 p.m. noon just because it does take time and then if you get off the water taxi and you want to get back on uh, those schedules can sometimes leave you waiting for an hour now it is low season it's currently early September so I'm not sure if they have more boats going around when it's high season when more tourists are here but as it stands right now, we had to take two Ubers to come back to this point to grab our Hollywood Express Routes uh, water taxi. Uh, so we spent an extra 22 bucks on Uber. So that's something you should know. So in terms of the actual water taxi itself and the people who work on it, it's great, it's fantastic. However, at the stops, there is a lot of waiting if you don't time it properly and uh, the website is a little bit eh, I'm gonna say it's a little bit iffy with regards to tracking the boats it doesn't function 100% well so yeah that's my take on it I definitely think it's something people should do at least once to try it you get a lot of information you see lots of beautiful villas and yachts so that's really fun it's also a great way to get from hollywood beach to fort lauderdale or from fort lauderdale to hollywood beach though just keep in mind that you may have to ride an uber to get back to where you started hey everyone quick ask to please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already let's reach our 1000 subscriber goal so that i can continue to bring you helpful travel content that's it for now. Is it a ticket or a skip it? Well, it's both. Now, if you want to know my five must-do items in the Miami area, check out this next video right up here.